What's poppin' homies? It's your favorite homegirl, Gossip Girl, coming in with a conversation for you all. Um, yesterday I wasn't on much. I was with my family. And I, I encourage you guys to do the same. Take this time to, to talk to your kids. Do, do family stuff. Get your mind off the craziness of the world. So, a few months ago, I posted a video about the rumor that was going around saying that black people were immune to this whole virus, right? And some people agreed with me in my comment section and some of you came for me in my comment section saying, hey, you should be proud at this moment that this is not affecting us. But I'm not gonna sit there and argue back and forth with people, okay? Don't argue with me, argue with your mammy or the media. That's how I feel about it. But let's just get right on into it. So now, according to this article in Black Enterprise, Black Americans are contracting and dying from COVID-19 at an alarming rate and the report shows, okay? So I'm going to read you some of this and I want you to tell me what you think in the comment section um, about what you thought about this article. Earlier data out of Milwaukee shows that African Americans have contracted and died of this virus at a much higher rate than white Americans. In Milwaukee, the virus intentionally entered through a white affluent suburb, but soon spread to the inner city. Black Americans were told misinformation like the bogus idea that black people were immune to the virus. Now, do you remember that? Okay, if you remember that, let me know in the comment section. Also, due to a history of painful government restrictions, including segregation and mass incarceration, where black people were told where they could go and what they could do, adherence to social media, I mean, excuse me, social distancing was not high within the black community. We're like, we have to wake people up, Milwaukee Health Commissioner told the ProPublica. As of the reports from the ProPublica, As of Friday morning, African Americans made up almost half of Milwaukee's county's 945 cases and 81% of its 27 deaths in county in a county whose population is 20% black. Excuse me, 26% black. Milwaukee is one of the few places in the United States that is tracking the racial breakdown of people who have been infected by the <clears throat> By the virus offering a glimpse at the <coughs> destruction in its inflicting on black communities nationwide. Okay, in Michigan, where the state's population is 14% black, Amer African Americans made up 35% of cases and 40% of deaths as of Friday morning. Detroit, where a majority of residents are black, has emerged as a hot spot with a high death toll. As has New Orleans, Louisiana has not published case breakdowns by race, but 40% of the state's deaths have happened in Orleans Parish, where the majority of residents are black. Okay. Um, it says here also, Illinois and North Carolina are two of the few areas publishing statistics on the COVID-19 cases by race, and their data shows a number of African Americans were infected. Okay, so it's 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 crazy. It's crazy. Um, black communities have less access to health insurance, which leads to less virus testing. Black people are also vulnerable to bias. That is why doctors and lawmakers alike are calling for the government to provide demographic data of the COVID-19 patients. Now, do you think that it's important for us to know right now, we already know this thing is taking out a lot of people, black, white, Hispanic, whatever. It, it doesn't choose who it takes out. But do you think that we need or do you, are you interested in seeing the statistics of how much of it has affected the black community okay the african americans are you interested in seeing that do you would like would you like to see a graph of that um i would like to just to see you know to back up this this article i want to i would like to see that um and it must be something at an alarming rate for them to write this story 
in the black enterprise because I never known for the black enterprise to put any BS in their in their paper, in their magazines or online or or on the online um blogs. So my thing is this, what do you think about this? What do you think? Why do you think that this stuff right now is hitting the African American um people at a at a higher rate than anyone else? Let me know in the comment section, okay? Um, is it because like they said, there's not enough health care or health care insurance in these neighborhoods. What do you think? Do you think because certain, you know, white white people have more money than blacks that some, I'm not saying all, just a conversation here. Um, so they could afford some things. They could afford a lot of things that black folks can't afford. So let me know. I want, I really want to know your opinion about this. Do you think that this virus is taken, taken, has taken out African Americans? at a higher rate I mean because they are talking about it and they said this is happening so I just thought this was an interesting conversation um, please be respectful in the comment section I would love to hear your thoughts and opinions about this you know I wish they had like a, a bar graph that I can pull up to show you guys but they don't have a bar graph they were just giving percentages and stuff like that um, So I don't know. So what do you guys think? I think this is a very interesting conversation. I really do. This is a very interesting conversation. And also, um, it says here, um, Dr. Ebony Hilton, an associate professor of anesthesiology and critical care medicine at the University of Virginia, told BuzzFeed. Um, so I want to make sure that this pandemic, that black people, black and brown people are treated in the same way and that the tests are made available in the same pattern as for white people. So people feel that this test is not going to be or is not given um out evenly as it is you know some people could get tested faster in the white community than they can in the black community um i'm not trying to make this a race thing because i don't do that but reading this article it did shed some light on some things so let me know what you think about it do you think that would you like to see a graph of the breakdown of this whole thing because i feel like this virus had taken out so many people it's ridiculous. You know, I log into Facebook and I see my friends, they posting, you know, hey, my, my father passed away, my aunt passed away, my sister passed away, my mom passed away. This thing is taking out so many people, you know, and my heart goes out to everyone that's affected. I'm afraid as well because I can get it. My husband is a essential worker. He got to still go out there. Just the other day, they had to stop the bus because the bus driver wasn't feeling well. Okay, even though the bus driver was driving with his mask on and stuff, but still, he wasn't feeling well. So, I and also, I have a grandmother who is in her 80s, okay? You know, she has a health care worker that comes in and take care of her along with the rest of the family. So, I just, you know, I worry that everybody needs to take, take responsibility and do their part and help her because I can't get to her. But... It's, it's just really crazy right now. And I, and with the way things are going right now, with people not listening to social distancing, we are not going to have a summer. The summer is really going to be, can I'm not, I don't want the summer to be canceled, but it's not looking good because people are still gathering at churches. People are still gathering at bars. People are holding private parties. It's just ridiculous. The, just the other day, I read about the, the Hasidic Jews in Borough Park, Brooklyn, holding a funeral service with over a thousand people in the street. They're not listening. They never listen. Okay, they feel like they can do what the hell they want to do. Okay, it just makes me sad that that we are not listening to this. And when I say we, I mean everybody. We all. I'm listening because I'm in the house. I have to be. I have, if I never follow any rule in my life, this is the one rule I'm sticking to because I need to protect my family. Okay? I don't go out this house unless I need to. And when I go out this house, I'm looking like Hollow Man. Okay? I'm masked up, gloved up, 
hoodie on. I, I don't want I don't want nothing touching me. I don't want no one to touch me. I don't want no one looking at me. I come when it comes to things like this, I get very, very I'm I'm like really, really shaky about these kind of things. I it, it just I I'm just so cautious. So at this point. Well, how do you feel about this conversation up in this article? And if you want to read the article in here, um, it's it's in the Black Enterprise website. It's on the Black Enterprise website. You can find it there. Okay. So you guys have a great day. And like I said, please keep the conversation cute and you know respectable. Um, we can do we could agree on something. If you disagree with somebody, just be like, okay, sis, okay, bro, you got it. All right. So you guys have a great morning and, you know, just keep praying for everybody that this thing will blow over, please, because I just want everybody to follow the rules so that we can get outside and, and, and continue and live in life because this thing is not going to go nowhere anytime soon. I think this is going to be like the new norm for everybody for a while. So we just have to keep, you know, obeying, obeying the law and the rules, what they're asking so that we can get over this. So we can get over this. You know. Alright you guys. You guys take care. And I will talk to you later.